So we're going to talk about how temperature changes through daytime and nighttime. And we're going to start with daytime, talking about a calm, clear summer day. And the incoming solar radiation passes through the atmosphere, hits the Earth, warms it up, converts that, the Earth then converts that to, from shortwave solar radiation to longwave radiation, warms up the air, directly touching it through conduction, and you'll see that the warmest air is directly next to the surface on these uh, calm, windless days. And then the rest of the atmosphere warms up a little bit, but not nearly as much, so you have much cooler air uh, away from the surface. So you have this style temperature profile on calm, clear, windless days. If you add wind to that, what it does is it acts as a mixing agent. So the air ends up mixing. So instead of on this calm afternoon where you have warm air directly near the surface, cooler air a little away from the surface, you have a more set temperature throughout because the air mixes, causing the upper air to warm up. You see it's much warmer aloft and the surface air to be much cooler because it's taking that energy away from the surface and bringing it up into the atmosphere. So the when talking about temperature, daytime temperature, it's really interesting what happens for maximum temperature. So you see uh, on this graph, temperatures on the bottom, um, incoming solar radiation in this red line, and outgoing long wave radiation from the Earth in this blue line. And you see the maximum temperature happens around 4 or 5 in the afternoon. And why is that happening? You might think it would be happening at noon when the incoming solar radiation is highest. But again, this is a, a play between outgoing long wave radiation and incoming short wave radiation. So the sun is sending this much energy to us. It warms up the planet. You see the surface warming up, so the amount of energy being sent out, long wave energy being sent out, is increasing. It increases over time. The sun begins to set, and you're in a situation where the amount of energy the Earth is sending out is greater than the amount that's coming in, and that's when you'll hit your maximum temperature. For nighttime temperatures, uh, they work in a similar way to daytime temperatures, but you have to understand that they'll work a little bit in reverse. So again, the Earth is giving out energy. It's sending away long wave radiation, cooling down. So through conduction, it cools down on these calm, clear, windless nights. The air directly near the surface, so you get very cold temperatures near the surface, and warmer temperatures up above the surface. And so you have this pretty drastic temperature change, temperature inversion. Uh, the slides will talk about that in a little bit, um, where it's much colder near the surface, much warmer aloft. If you add wind in and cause mixing, as you see on the right, the same thing that happened where you had less of a dramatic uh, temperature profile on a windy afternoon, you have a less dramatic temperature profile on a windy night. It's much warmer near the surface, but much colder aloft. It's spreading out where the energy impacts things. So instead of cooling down the surface dramatically, it cools down the entire column of air uh, more moderately. And similar to maximum temperature, we can look at the minimum temperature and when it happens. So you might think that uh, it happens when you're getting the least amount of energy in, and that isn't necessarily the case. While, uh, so after the sun has set, you're getting in similarly low amounts of energy. So throughout this point, the energy has bottomed out, but it takes time for the earth to give up energy. So it continues to do so, and the temperature continues to decrease. And then the sun rises, but the amount of solar energy it's providing uh, isn't enough so the temperature continues to drop shortly after, about a half an hour uh, at times. Um, after sunrise, the temperature continues to drop. So you'll see the 
lowest temperature often happens slightly after sunrise when you have energy coming in.